Are you serious? Hello, there's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Right now, you're killing some time with us. My name is Marcus Bronzy, and right now we are sifting through the best bits of 2016 here at How to Kill an Hour. And we like to think that we're on the forefront of tech most of the time. We don't just talk about stuff that's happening now. We're talking about stuff that's going to be happening in the future. And, and Google, one of the biggest brands in the world, right? They didn't get Google Glass right. But imagine if they got this right. Google's chief futurist, Ray Kurzweil, reckons we are going to live forever by 2029, Funk. 2029. What? We will be living forever. Yeah, he's been very accurate with previous predictions. One of them being Wi-Fi. When he turned it, accessing information wirelessly from the internet. He said that in the 1980s. He was right. He's saying that a singularity, I actually know what this word means, Mm -hmm. a singularity uh, where human intelligence merges with non-biological technology will happen in 2045. Yeah. And he reckons, he he told Playboy magazine, which obviously is a premium mag. (laughs) He told the leading scientific uh, publication. Playboy. Playboy. I tell you what. Again, look, the correlation correlation between between amazing thinkers and porn. There we go. There we go. Glam. Another one. <laughs> Another, Another one. one. <laughs> um, he says it's going to reach a point in 2029 where medical technologies will add one additional year to your life expectancy. Um, but what is it by currently? That, by that, he doesn't... Sorry? What is it currently? Uh, like 80? Uh, 80, like, 80. 80. Quite a lot of people are busting 100 though, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a lot of people are doing 100 lately. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and he said, by the way, not life expectancy based on your birth date, but your remaining life expectancy. That's what he means. Mm. Would you, would you really, I mean, we can talk about it being a possibility, but would you really want to live forever, Funk? Forever, ever, forever, forever, ever. ever. Um, yeah, man. I want to see those hoverboards still. Real yeah. hoverboards. Not those things that they've been passing around. What are they called? Segways. They're not Segways, hoverboards. People yeah. call them ho- hoverboards. They're touching the ground, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Call it hoverboards. Yeah, I know why people want hoverboards, I man. Chill man. yourself, man. Yeah. But there's um, a lot of tech that I'm, I'm waiting to see. I know it's gonna come. Yeah. For for me, it will be what state I'm in. If I'm like this mm-hmm. forever, I'm happy now. Yeah. Maybe a couple pounds lighter, a bit more ripped. I'll take yeah. that for the rest of my life. You just but don't want to end if up. If I'm like, in a jar, yeah, yeah, I don't want to be like two eyeballs in a jar going. That looks fun. Or the Fuck. head, the head in Futurama. Yeah, the head in. Yeah, I don't want to be the head in Futurama <laughs> just sitting there like, oh yeah, that looks fun. You're just watching everyone else have fun, isn't it? I'll yeah. be a, I'll be a fish. What about the, do, do you <laughs> in a jar? Think possibility of extraterrestrial life touching down. I'd like to see, yeah, it's going to happen yeah. if we wait for long enough. So yeah, I'd like to see that. But again, I'd like to be able to move around, shake their hand. Yeah. Get I me. think there's a, a strong correlation between the people that want to live forever just being damn ass nosy. We only want to live forever so that we can see what's going to happen next. Yeah, so you can nosy. use it, rinse that infinity scroll on your Instagram. You can actually scroll Instagram to the bottom. Oh my God. Imagine if EastEnders is still on. Wow. In the year 5049. Dot Cotton still be around. <laughs> Dust cotton. <laughs> Dust cotton. <laughs> no, it should be a, um, a AR version. I know a, 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 a what's it called? A, a Terminator version of yeah. Dot Cotton. With a z- cybernetic z- eye. Yeah, cybernetic eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think what he's getting at um, is June Brown dead. Billy, I can't crack jokes about dead people who have just died recently. Has she died? Oh, <laughs> so there'll be Doc Cotton. Crisis yeah. averted. Boy, Billy just told me that Doc Cotton, the woman that paid Doc Cotton, is dead. We she's, thought we made a real distasteful joke because we're not really avid. That would have been, that of, been um, a first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, duh. Yeah. Um, yeah, but um, would you test out the kit if they started doing it like, yeah, Funk, we're just going to give you like a, I don't know, a bionic eye and then a bionic arm yeah, and then roll from there? X-ray eye. Yeah. I'd love them to download my brain and put it on a computer. And try it out there. And Why? Because then, then they could download it onto the a robot, innit? And a new robot could live its life for me. Yeah. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, give me a new operating system. OS Marcus. I yeah. One day that'll actually happen. That will be operating system. Yeah, Billy reckons yeah, it'll happen one day. Extract memories from your, from your brain. Definitely. I think that will. I think they'll definitely extract memories from your brain at some point. But I don't know if I really would want to live for, If I could live forever like this mm-hmm. in my physical form now, yeah. young man, fresh. Yeah. Good to oh, go. Young man. Oh, young man. My bits are still working. Yeah. Like my eyes, obviously, is what I mean. Um, I w- I'll be on it. Like, but I don't. I would not want to live forever if I was like 
falling apart. Yeah. I don't want to be like the zombies I was running away from. In I want to live forever, but I want I want a, a, a pause on the things I don't like right now. I don't want to continue living forever and continue paying tax. I don't want to pay tax forever. I okay, <laughs> I yeah. Get, I don't want to get parking tickets forever. I don't want to. I don't. Want, I want. I don't want to see vegans forever. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but vegans live forever. You don't know yeah, that. They do when you're of when you're vegan level one hundred and you live forever. Yeah, like those four hundred year oak trees. <laughs> That's what they claim, isn't it? That's why they're eating those nuts, isn't it? So when you be, when you become full Pause. vegan, huh? when you become full vegan, yeah. you become a tree. You become one. Your life force joins oh. the, the 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 concrete. You you become one with the 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 bricks of your estate. Right. Yeah, that's what these vegans are trying to do. They become become one with their environment. So vegans don't the die; tarmac, they turn into trees. The bricks of their council estate. That's what they're trying to do. Oh, yeah, right. I get one, it. I get it now. All right, maybe I should try this vegan life. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a steak, please. Yeah. Um, but with regards to um, living forever, though, I, I, I don't know if I could take it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of stress, man. A lot of shit, bullshit, though. Yeah. Like, I could, I'd enjoy a good life and take it. But I don't know. Like, if you live forever, unless there was really cool stuff happening all the time, wouldn't you get very bored? Voting forever. Aye. No, but then everyone else would live forever as well because you're living yeah. forever. There'd be yeah. no space be left. No, there so, will be no everywhere. Would be double yellow lines. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Everyone, everywhere would be double yellow lines. Maybe, Parking would cost a tri- lot. Tri- triple, triple yellow. Yeah, you'd have future. to you'd have to pay to park your Segway. <laughs> but maybe there'll be no more kids because the world's busy. They'll put an embargo on kids. Say no more kids. That's what Marcus is doing. He wants to he wants to live around long enough yes. so there's no more babies. Yeah. they're exterminated. Yes, it's not like the the guy from what's what's that that uh, that biblical story? Is it the the, the, the king Terminator? No. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, oh, that. Isn't Genghis Khan did that? Sorry, I didn't go, I didn't go Bible studies. I, Genghis Khan? <laughs> Genghis Khan killed everyone. Yeah, Genghis Khan killed everyone that were related to him. What? Moses. Yeah. Okay. The story yeah, of Moses killed, and the yeah, king. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the king wanted to kill all the firstborns. Yes. That's what you're sounding like right now. I sound, like Moses. I sound like the king, the king. And, and you're Moses. <laughs> Living forever. Could you imagine? Uh, anyway, from that amazing, massive bit of technology to something else. That is just as amazing, but a little bit more tasty. KFC has become one of the first restaurants to use voice activated robots Whoa, in their stores. Oh man. Can I take your order, please, sir? You want five hot wings or That's where right. is this? Uh it is in Shanghai. It's called Dummy. I think. See my two favorite things, tech and chicken. Tech and chicken. Go together tech like chicken. peas and like Jenny and Forrest Gump. Uh, it's a flagship restaurant, KFC. It's got wireless phone charging as well. We need that here. Its creators say that it's clever enough to handle orders from customers and you can make little adjustments on the fly. So you can say like, you know, I want beans instead of gravy. No lettuce in my, you know, in my burger, in my Zinger burger. Oh, is it? Mm. Well, they initially heard dialect. So when you, when you first went... Oh, first made, okay. So you spoke to it, learning to understand your dialect. So it will only understand me... If I speak to it, dialect. oh, so it will only understand the initially her dialect. So if I speak to it in an English accent and then a Scottish man comes along and tries to talk to it, it will not understand the order. Oh, that's good though, because it means that someone can't be like, yeah, and put some shit on it too. Or like, I'd be like, no mayonnaise, because I'm allergic to it. And I walk away and someone goes, extra mayonnaise. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get me like that. Um, would you use this funk? Uh, I'm excited about this, bro. Do you know Wait, what they need? Do you know what they need? Exa- you asked for an example of yeah. humans taking over our jobs. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Poor KFC. Well, it's kind of happening. Students. I feel like they're going to have this at the train stations as well. Mm-hmm. But especially, you know, everyone, everyone, no matter where you are in the world, this is a, this is a unifying problem. I'm going to shed a tear here. This problem <laughs> unites the world. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to get some sad music and play yeah. this underneath. Yeah. <laughs> the problem of going to the drive-thru late at night. And having to repeat yourself time and time and time again because they can't understand your voice. How many times? Will, Will, look at me. You know what I'm talking about, Will, innit? You go there, you just want a cheeseburger, you want fries, you want apple pie, and you want a Coke. Can you repeat? Oh, come on, man. If this can minimize the time it takes for me to order my drive through McDonald's here, then we've got, got a winner. Good. And that is your gripe. That is my KFC. main gripe. When I went to Italy, they um they got but you just press a button, you like go to a machine, you go to a machine like touch screen, press a button, pay, and just go collect it. I kind of did it because my Italian shit, and I didn't want to speak <laughs> Italian and embarrass myself like and get something silly. But I pressed all the buttons. Shout out to it- Italian McDonald's as well. They got like these little extra skinny fries. They're like super slim fries. Every every fast food uh, chain 
outside of the UK is advanced. <laughs> I, I see different things. Nah, shout out to boss man at my at my local chicken shop. Yeah, my perfect fried chicken. <laughs> shout out to boss man. Yeah, you're advanced on <laughs> me. Bo- boss man's on point. Shout out to boss man. This will never reach Morley's. This tech. Nah, yeah, yeah. Where was it? In yeah. 2029, they'll yeah. get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> nah, shout out to boss man. He's high tech. Um, late night drive throughs Sorry, I done, done lifts for uh, someone before. Yeah, group of mates, and we went through drive through and we ordered the food all right, and then it just went dead. So I started playing my music pretty loud, and the gears at the other end goes, "I can hear all that." <laughs> <laughs> so we were just cussing him as well, like I can hear all that. Do you know what? You also got to be very polite when you're ordering any sort of takeaway food. Because Why the customers always work? Yeah, but uh, oh, yeah, a little flaming. Why, why, why are we always right, Will? I'm not going to discuss that matter because I currently work in uh, retail. So. In retail, yeah. <laughs> customer's always right, man. Because, do you know, no, customer's always right. But I always make the I always make the restaurant people feel at ease. I'm nice to them because yeah. it's nothing for them to just scratch their bottom and rub my rub this the burger it. bun. Don't piss off someone uh, making your yeah mini zinger. Like my dad doesn't, mini not, my dad doesn't give a fuck. Be in a restaurant with my dad. My dad will hot up the waiter before oh, the fruits come. No. I'll be like, dad, please. Dad, put pressure on them if you, something's wrong, but let the food come out first. Even if it's takeaway? Anything. Bro, I've, seen him, people, I've yeah. seen him mess up McDonald's. And he, I've, I've seen him hot up someone at McDonald's and I've been thinking as a kid, I've been thinking, I've just watched the Eminem video. Like, um, uh, what is it again? I could be working yeah. in Burger King, spitting on your onion rings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Eee. Yeah, and I was thinking, Dad, man. So I was looking through my burger, looking for like greasy bits. I was like, yeah, gotta be careful, man. But with these robots, you can say, listen, bitch. Yeah, give me some two wings. Yeah, some hot sauce. Yeah, no mayonnaise and a zinger burger. Shut That's up. That's a very good point. Thank you for your order, sir. Shut up, man. That's a very good make that, point. Make that quick for me, bro. You KF dickhead. Look, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I don't mind as long as I get my chicken on time. Um, We've also had our fair share of drama in the How to Kill an Hour camp. Uh... Billy had a bit of an experience earlier this year. Uh, episode 39 is where we discussed that. Also, shout out to Billy, who isn't here today. He couldn't make it funk. <laughs> no, sorry. I mean, you don't know. I'm why. so sorry, Billy. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> you don't know why. Do you? I'll tell you in a second. Okay. And also, uh, shout out to Milo as well. He, Milo's he, in the house. He's Billy's replacement, actually. Yeah. Um, one out, one in. See? That's it. Yeah, we move quick round here. Yeah, man. Um, and everyone else saluting us. Uh, Anybody can get it. Billy, you thought, you, you thought your job was safe, man. You, Billy, your P45 was just right behind you, man. Well done, Billy. You played yourself. <laughs> um, another one. Another one. Yeah, if you want to say hi, like all of those other guys, um, we've got a little button or a little thing that says click here in the description of this episode. Click there. Give us a little review. Show yeah, some man. love. It's Put some up, respect on our name. It's not up for negotiation. Just click the damn button. Exactly. Man. Do it. So, Billy. So, Billy. <laughs> He's not here today, Frank. Okay, go on. Do you know why he's not here? Is that a sex change? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's had a car crash, bruv. Serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's had a car crash. Bill is dead? No, no, no. Oh, okay, he's, okay. He's, um, the doctor said uh, that he should... No, I'm joking. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. But yeah. what is it? Like, Billy's had a car crash, so we can't yeah. get here today because yeah. um, he got hit from behind from the pictures he showed me, which Pause. means... Nah, you know, straight. You got hit from behind. <laughs> you got hit from, if you get hit from behind in England, though, yeah. I don't know if this is the same. Um, if you're from America, let me know. It's pretty much 90% of the time the person behind you's fault. So Billy could be getting some of that cha-ching whip, yeah. whip cash, yeah. that whiplash money, that claims for you money. So Billy, if you're listening, yeah. Have you, have you slipped and fallen at your workplace? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Billy, Billy could be making some of that money. No win, no fee. Yeah, so get well. Get well soon, Billy. Yeah, and, um man. Let's hope you can get a new whip. Actually. Yeah. Should we try and call Billy? Yeah, let's call him now. Let's call Billy, man. He's got reception in the hospital ward. I don't know. I don't know. He might even be. You know, we're cracking jokes now. He's got internal bleeding. Yeah. He was just like, hello. Hi, this is Billy's doctor. Let's call Billy right on FaceTime. Gonna hear some cries. Some wails of pain. We should have got Milo to say, hi, Billy. I'm your replacement. Should we wait? Should I call him back in a second? Get Milo to say hi. Hi, Billy. I'm your, no, that was his phone answering. But <laughs> should we get Milo to say hi, Billy? I'm your replacement. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, leave a voicemail. I just want to know what your what your what your um what your email address is. <laughs> what your password is for email address. You on that, Milo? Wait, put the Milo. <laughs> hi, this is Milo. He's joining us for a few weeks here. Inserting. You're right, Milo. Japan. Yeah, yeah, a little bit close to the mic, please. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Right, so Milo. We'd like you to call Billy on FaceTime audio and say, hi, I'm Milo. Um, 
I'm your replacement for um I'm your replacement producer on How to Kill an Hour. I just want to know what your email password is. And if Billy <laughs> if Billy tells him his email password, that's not secure, is it? Like we somebody could have run up on us us funk and gone out and just said, Listen, I want all your passwords, everything. But anyway, right, there you go. Hold the phone kind of close to the mic as well. Hi there, Betty. This is Milo Fisher. Uh, I'm your replacement producer for How to Kill Now with Marcus Bronzy. Uh, I'm just going to ask if I could get your password for your computer as I'm just trying to get some work done. Uh, you want what, my password for my computer? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. I don't have a password on my computer. Oh, fantastic. Ask him for his PIN number. Can I have your PIN number as well, just to make sure, you know. And your mother's <laughs> main name, of course. No, I'm good. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. So, Billy, no you're, Billy, Billy you're still alive, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Billy, what actually happened, bro? Uh, as I was, well, I was in the lights and uh, I'd stopped and then all of a sudden this uh, car was just smashing into the back of me. So you got smash, like, someone right, smashed so into your rear? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you funny fucker. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 was it a shock? Yeah, yeah. I was, as soon as he was like, I was like, what the fuck has gone on? The whole the whole car sucks like, up with all the um, airbag dust, so I was coughing and splitting out of there. So I was like, "Oh, jeez!" So I just get out, a little bit shook, but other than that, should be alright. The back's a little bit sore, but other than that, I'm fine. So, was there anyone else in the car with you, Billy? No, it's just myself. Oh, that's all right then, isn't it? So wait, oh wait, nah, you're not supposed to say that. Aren't you supposed to say there was a car full of people and everyone claims for whiplash? <laughs> Do you nah, are nah. you feeling a bit of pain in your shoulders, Billy? Oh no. Yeah, I'm good. I'm you sure? One of those. Yeah. Uh, uh, you don't. You don't want that whip cash then. Nah. All right. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> what about what about your car situation though? Are you driving? Um, I got a um. What's the word? I got a courtesy. Yeah. What was it? Mercedes German whip. What would you get? You know, like for like. But did you, did you get? Did you get another Brabus four four four? No, I got uh, I got an Astra sixteen thing. Hey! So what are you, are you rolling on the streets now? Like, um, what's that old school ludicrous tune? Two miles an hour, so everybody <laughs> sees. You. Is that what you're doing now? Playing tunes like that? Yeah, I'm boring. So, how long have you got the courtesy car for then? Do you reckon? Until they can, um, until they can like assess my one and mm-hmm. then get the money for it, and then seven days after that, they give me they'll give me um grace to buy another car. Okay, so you get the courtesy car until you get your money for the new car because your cars are out of. Yeah, and then, and then an additional seven days to um to uh, purchase another one. Really? Cool. What, what did you do to the other driver, man? Did you give him some of your Kung Fu? Nah, Kung Fu. Uh, it's some Wolverine type shit, wasn't it? Really? Did, did you get out of the car angry? Or you, like, how did you... Who was the... What was the person that hit you? It was all right. It was just like, oh, man, sorry. <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it, it was shook. Really? It's because of that new yeah. beard, Billy. I told you. Did you give him a mean stare, Billy? I was like, oh, mate, you're right. You're, don't worry about it. It's fine. Billy, bruv, if, bruv, if you want to impress girls when you're telling them this story, you need to, like, man it up a little bit. Like, he, he got out his car all brave. So what I did is I threw, my, I threw my arm out and so he could just see my biceps swollen, hanging off, hanging out the side of the car. Yeah. He, it, he decided to stop. I got out of the car and slammed. the ladies, you ripped off the shirt. Yeah, you ripped off his shirt. You slammed you slammed your car door so hard, his headlights fell off his car. Yeah. <laughs> Bruv, you need to add some beef. And also, Billy, now that you got a 16... Embellish it. Embellish it, that's right. It, or like I like to say, put some tax on it. Uh, Billy, with the 16 plate now, what's going to be the situation with you and the birds? Because you've got, you got a bird mobile now, bruv. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've got to impress, innit? I've got to uh, just drive around. Windows have, down. You have, need, you need have, to complete them Tinder missions before you have to give that car back. Exactly. <laughs> have, have you got tints? Well, the mo- uh, t- oh, no, there's no, no tints on the car. Has it got a CD player? It's got a uh, Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone to it. Whoa! <laughs> so you can have that slow jam playlist on. Anyway, Billy, um, good to hear that you're well, bruv. I was concerned about your health, but now that we know you're fine, we're going to continue to take the piss out of you till you're back on the show. <laughs> you're replacing me with Milo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Already. He's here, yeah. man. Yeah, that's Not right. Not even been 24 hours. Huh? Not even been 24 hours. When did you actually replaced? have your crash? At uh, uh, quarter past eleven, and right now it is the same day, and it's it's half past eight. Well, yeah. I just shh, no one's safe, boy. <laughs> 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 All right, Billy, get well soon, yeah. We'll do, man. All right, I'll see bro. you guys next week.
All right, stay left. Or will we? Or will we though? <laughs> Bless. Uh, change, change studio. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> yeah, he'll come here. There'll just be an empty room. <laughs> All right, Bill. Bless up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Billy and Milo have ever really ever spoken directly to each other. They still talk via myself and Funk. Anyway, that's been another How to Kill an Hour Best of 2016. A few more to come. Stepping into the new year. 2017, so close. <sighs> I can almost taste it. <sighs> new year, new... No, I'm never going to say that. Right, anyway, we've got more ways of killing time that we've been talking about over the year and experiencing... Uh, and they'll be in your ears very soon. Thank you for killing some time with I.